Chia Seeds 101. Tiny but mighty superfood? Chia seeds are a superfood. The Aztecs have been eating them forever, and they're great for you. Now, I used to believe that chia seeds were a superfood at one point, too, about 15 years ago. I even had a bag of them sitting in my office to show my patients. In fact, one of my patients' son was a maker of chia seeds, and I bought into the hype. I mean, who wouldn't buy into the hype? You put them in water, they swell up, they get this gelatinous stuff, and it looks like, wow, that's fiber, that's going to improve my digestion, wow. About that time, I was approached to work on a book with the father of the paleo diet, and we were chatting about recipes, and I happened to mention what a fan I was of chia seeds. And he stopped dead in his tracks and said, don't you read the literature? And I said, well, you know I do, blah, blah, blah. And he says, well, you haven't read this literature. He said, chia seeds are very inflammatory. And I said, what? And the study he referred me to was done to show that chia seeds have a short chain omega-3 fat, which they do. And the study was done with human volunteers to give them chia seeds. The other group didn't get chia seeds. And they looked at the amount of omega-3 fats in their blood. And lo and behold, their omega-3 fats did go up. Yay, that sounds good. But they were also looking at a marker of inflammation, which is C-reactive protein, in this case, HSCRP, highly sensitive or heart-specific CRP. And the chia seed group actually went up in their C-reactive protein. And that was the point that most people had missed, that yes, the omega-3 fat went up, but the inflammatory markers went up as well. Now, one of the reasons for that is that chia seeds are from South America. And just remember that all of us are from Africa, Europe, or Asia. Even Native Americans are from Asia. And so none of us were exposed to any American plant until 500 years ago when Colombian trade started. So this is a modern plant that we've been exposed to. So he was absolutely right, and my chia seeds sit up in a cupboard just so I can pull them out and show people how mistaken I was about chia seeds. These contain lectins, and they're inflammatory. Now, interestingly, when the plant paradox came out, and I've had a couple of patients call me up and tell me that they were reacting to certain foods— that seemed on the surface to be quite safe. Uh, one of them uh, is a chip that on the surface seems to be quite safe. Another one is a cracker that on the surface seems to be quite safe. And lo and behold, we discovered that these food companies were adding chia seeds to their recipes. And when we removed these products from my patients, lo and behold, their reaction went away. So it looks like from my patients that these things for a number of people are not good for you. But if you love your chia seed pudding, don't freak out. Instead, use basil seeds. Now, the great news is basil seeds act just like chia seeds in the way they absorb water and become a gelatin-like fiber. 
In fact, it looks just like chia seeds. But basil seeds are part of the basil family. Now, basil, I've talked about for years, basil is some of the most anti-inflammatory foods that you can eat. Fun fact, sage is a part of the basil family. And sage was called by Romans salvia, salve, savior, because of its known health-promoting properties. It's no wonder that basil is part of pesto. It's no wonder that basil is part of a caprizi salad. And fun fact, believe it or not, true caprizi salad, the tomatoes are peeled and de-seeded. Uh, I've had it in a traditional Florence restaurant. So the point of all this is basil has the health-promoting properties that chia seeds undo. Now, they don't taste like basil. That's the good news. They're a natural source of fiber, vitamins, electrolytes, and antioxidants. They're lectin-free, they're vegan, they're keto, and they're paleo-friendly. The great thing about basil seeds is they are loaded with prebiotic fiber without the downside of the lectins that chia seeds have. Now that fiber feeds your friendly gut bacteria. You'll learn in Gut Check, my current book, that the happier your gut bacteria are, the happier you will be, the happier your brain will be. We've heard for years about the gut-brain connection, but it's only been recently that we realize that the brain is completely dependent on its mood, its happiness, its lack of depression, its lack of anxiety by messages it receives from the gut bacteria. And the happier you make them, the happier you will be. The other great thing about fiber in the form of basil seeds and other forms of fiber is that it actually smooths out your digestion. And there's some pretty cool studies that it lowers cholesterol. If that's what you're interested in, I'm not. But if that's what you like, fine. It relieves stress. Basil seeds have adaptogens. You actually balance sugar levels. There's some interesting human studies, one in 2016, showing that basil seed ingestion lowered blood sugar levels. Sounds like fun. There's another 2016 study in rats who were diabetics that basil seeds addition to the diet lowered blood sugar and lowered diabetic levels in these rats. And it even made them lose weight. That sounds like a good thing. Now, in a gram-to-gram -gram comparison with chia seeds done by the Zen Basil Company, now I have no relationship with them. I'm not an advisor. I'm not a, I'm just a big fan. So Zen Basil seeds have two times the fiber of chia seeds have two times the potassium, have two times the calcium, two times the iron, 10 times the amount of prebiotics. Plus, unlike chia seeds, they are lectin-free. So how the heck do you eat it? Well, anything you can do with a chia seed, you can do with a basil seed. Now, I must admit, I have never tried to make a basil pet. I have made a chia pet. I suppose it'll work. Uh, maybe I should try it and see if I can make one, grow some hair on a chia pet with basil seeds. Stay tuned. I'll let you know. But anything else you can do with a chia seed, you can do with a basil seed. You can make basil seed puddings. I like to mix it in water or coconut milk. Uh, it'll be just like pudding. You can top it with chopped macadamia nuts or in-season berries. 
in unlocking the keto code, I have a great tropical basil seed pudding recipe. You can bake with them. You can use them as a thickener in baked goods. You can use them as a thickener in soups and casseroles. Again, I like Zen basil seeds. They're the only USDA organic certified and basil seeds on the market that I'm aware of. I actually did it. I'm so impressed with them. I actually did a whole episode on this podcast with the founder, Shakira Niazi. And if you want to learn more, check it out. If you found this video helpful, I think you're going to love this one. The vast majority of protein that you eat does not become protein in your muscles. You could eat all the protein you want. You will not build more muscles unless you are actively trying to build muscles.